Gaza's children have suffered particularly severely. More than 14,000 have been killed. Thousands more have been injured or lost family members. While an estimated 17,000 children are unaccompanied or separated. Nearly all of Gaza's children have been exposed to traumatic experiences, the consequences of which will last a lifetime. Make no mistake. These conditions are a direct result of Israel's military onslaught on the besieged enclave, with full knowledge of the destructive consequences of this humanitarian crisis. In its targeted attack on hospitals, Israel has killed hundreds of civilians, including doctors and medical staff, turning centers built for healing into mass graves full of the decomposing bodies of men, women, and children. On 10 April, a UN inspection team reported that Khan Yunus was reduced to rubble and dirt, and returnees discovered ghastly scenes of unearthed mass graves containing the massacred bodies of the elderly, women, children, and men at Al Nasser Hospital. Blue scrubs reportedly still clothed the dead bodies of medical staff. Many were decapitated. 324 decomposing bodies were discovered, many stripped and handcuffed. Of these, only 42 were identified. Another 30 bodies were discovered in two mass graves in Al Shifa Hospital, with only 12 bodies identified. These bodies included women and children, with many reportedly showing signs of torture and summary executions. The recent discovery of multiple mass graves, Israel's ongoing chokehold on information coming out of Gaza, and complete refusal to allow independent investigators in, means that we will not know how many Palestinians have been killed by Israel's military campaign for some time, if at all, and only if the evidence is not obliterated by Israel's ongoing military operations in what Commissioner Volker Turk describes as the prevailing climate of impunity. While our eyes and attention were drawn to the horrific acts unfolding in Rafah, Israeli tanks rolled again into northern Gaza, an area that Israel reported that it had cleared many months ago. On 11 May, Israel issued evacuation orders. At least 100,000 people in the north have been forced to flee their devastated homes. That same day, that same day of the evacuation orders, Israel began a relentless assault on northern Gaza. Journalists report that they have no idea about the number of people killed in North Gaza for the past day as medics are unable to move due to the heavy bombing. Many people are still trapped under the rubble, waiting for rescue, but no one is able to move under the rains of bombs. Mr. President, these are the credible facts. Israel will no doubt once again deny and cast aspersions on the information presented by South Africa and provided by the UN and other international actors including those this court itself has relied on, having denied access to Gaza and attempted to discredit all other sources of information, Israel is then free to portray a picture of Gaza radically at odds with all other accounts. Ultimately, Israel says only what suits them, only if and when it suits them, notwithstanding the facts on the ground that have been presented here today. In conclusion, Mr. President, the risks to the people of Gaza are imminent, irreparable, and rapidly increasing. All of what I have described must stop. Israel must be stopped. South Africa is before you again today to respectfully ask the court to invoke its powers to order a remedy that will stop Israel.